Obviously, you're not fighting tonight, but I know you're anxious as I am as Conor McGregor returns to the proving ground here tonight. This is the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history and a damn good fighter, too. Let's see what he does here tonight. I have no horse in the race, but the butterflies are kicking my stomach up and down because every time Conor steps into the octagon, it feels like a momentous occasion. Yeah. One of the biggest stars in all of sports. He transcends the sport of mixed martial arts. A guy that has a fantastic left hand. He's very quick. He's a master of, ma of managing distance, managing space, and the speed and the ability, the eyes of Conor McGregor is something that we don't pay enough attention to when we watch him fight. And of course, every time he competes, all eyes are on Conor McGregor, and yet more often than not, he doesn't show up flat on fight night. He rises to the occasion. The Jose Aldo fight certainly is the one that people will historically talk about, but let's see how it goes in this spot for Conor here tonight. There's going to be some competition for bonus money in this one. The kicks are going to be flying early and often. He's one of the better kickboxing practitioners we have in this division. Yeah, when he can make you fight him in a kickboxing fight, I mean, you would imagine you're watching this guy in glorious. Yeah. Because he's so good in this specific area of fighting. He mixes everything up so well from the close. He's so comfortable in close. He's rolling his shoulders, rolling right to leg kicks. He will batter and bruise you and beat you up from it close. He's amazing. You better take this dude down if you want a chance to win this fight. Right. Well, you put it well, and he has adapted his style very well to mixed martial arts. But when the fight is on the feet, caution flammable. the tape for this welterweight fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion of the world, and the former UFC lightweight champion, the notorious Connor McGregor! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, the Immortal no! So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. Ready. Good. The buzz is palpable inside this arena because Conor McGregor is fighting here tonight. The Irish fans are going sick. We'll see if Conor McGregor can get off to his patented fast start. You know he controls distance well. We'll see how McGregor approaches the early going here. by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him, that's for him. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Oh, slips and rips. How about that for execution? Nice slip to avoid the left. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, match. It's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the targets, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combinations with the kick. 
McGregor's cut above the eye now from that strike, so we'll see how the fighter deals with that definite adversity now. Just over three minutes to go. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Oh, beautiful hook there. Gregor gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks in this fight. He hasn't thrown uh, many at all. is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, that's a big right hand that got through. Oh, just open it up on him now. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Brown. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood is coming from the cut. Final seconds. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. What a round! All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. Well, if you like blood, maybe this is the fight for you because blood has really become a factor, and it's a cut that appears to be right above his eye. That's one of the worst spots for you to get a cut because then the blood starts to come down and it goes into the eye. It's difficult already to see, but when you got one of the best mixed martial artists in the world targeting it, it becomes impossible. They call that the trickle-down effect. Right, That's right. what that is? That's right. right. <laughs> Second round underway. Oh, hook to the head by Brown. I am starting to lose track of how many punches this guy has landed to the head of his opponent. Strong kick there. All right, well, we thought in this round perhaps things would be different, but that is not the case. Kicking is normally his strong suit, but... I mean, perfect liver shot. That is the most debilitating shot in all of fighting. It is very difficult to recover from that. Devastating uppercut. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking thing. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him. He's really messed with the game plan. Well, he rocked him. Oh, still hurt. Look at that. He can't even stand. Oh, McGregor's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. Oh, Wolf in the inside of that leg. Controlling the fight behind that jab. Does a great job of mixing up his strikes. Lands another leg kick. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just got to find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited, and you want to finish because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Let's go, let's go. 
Good job by the defense to prevent that shot from getting through. Well, McGregor's really bleeding heavily now. That cut is only getting worse by the minute. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Finds a home for that left hook. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Brown's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. All right, that's the end of the round. That is not the end of the bleeding, as you see the cut on the bridge of the nose, and that thing is not getting better, ladies and gentlemen. The cut man is going to give that some attention, but that's not an ideal location either. That blood is getting into the mouth. Ugly stuff for him to deal with here. All right, well, the cut man has got his work cut out for him, and I believe we have isolated the shot that caused that critical cut above the eye. I mean, right above the eye, John. Fight. Too many damaging Ready. blows. He's got to change something, because now every time he gets hit above the eye, the blood... Oh! Continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking gear tonight. And blocks that hard punch. Get those combinations going. Calf kick lands, and it is starting to bruise now. We better check these kicks. He's not going to be able to fight too long if he doesn't. Let's go. Let's open up that cut a little bit more. Beautiful punch to the body. For the finish here. McGregor's forehead is just leaking blood all over his face. He's unrecognizable right now. I'm not so sure the referee's not going to stop this fight. He's able to slip the left there. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. The official decision is in. That's where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, nine seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Matt the Immortal Brown. All right, so the Immortal Matt Brown does it again, and I've got to think at this point, You've got to look far and wide to find his remaining doubters. That man is an absolute beast, and he comes up with another legacy-building win here tonight. Good for the Ohio native, Matt Brown.